Kamusta po mga kabayan? Narito po muli ang mga maiinit na balitang ating sinusubaybayan sa mundo ng social media. Naku po, talaga itong si Senate President Subiri at Se- Senator Pimentel tila ba nakalimutan na rin nila ang kanilang prinsipyo at tila ba na wala na ata ang kanilang paninindigan sa ating bansa. na ang People's Initiative nitong Tambaluslos ay ginagawa palang political initiative na alam naman natin na pinagkakaperahan na naman ng ating duldog na opisyales ng gobyerno. Tila ba dahil dito sa usaping politi- political initiative na ito ay nang init na naman ang ulo nitong si Congressman Rodante Marcoleta na tila ba hindi umano maintindihan ang mga senadong ito na ba- bakit pa iba-iba ang desisyon na para bang hindi mga lalaki na walang isang salita. Hindi naman na siguro tayo bulag na kapag ganito ang nangyayari sa ating mga opisyales ay halatang pinak- pinakitahan na naman sila ng tumataginting na salapi na dahilan nila umano upang makalimutan ang kanilang paninindigan bilang isang public servant at ang kanilang prinsipyo bilang nakaupo sa posisyon. For the love of money is the root of all evil talaga. Kapag mas mahal mo talaga ang pera, wala ka ng pakialam kung sino ang pwede mong tapakan at siraan dahil nga. Una pa lang, Pera naman talaga ang hanap at pera din ang inspirasyon nitong mga opisyales na ito sa kanilang pagtakbo. Kaya naman, huwag na nating patagalin pa at panuorin ang buong video. At kung bago ka pa lamang sa aking channel, huwag kakalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell upang lagi kang maging una sa mga balitang naglalagablab at bago. Ang balita nga ito ay kumalat na at naging mainit na usapin din sa mundo ng social media. Ayun nga sa isang netizen, lakas-lakas si Subiri kasi friend ni Marcos. Pareho lang mga yan. Sayang mga boto sa mga yan. Imintel at Tulfo kailangan na pag-isipan mga iyan ma- pag dapat pa iboto. Hirap na magtiwala sa kadami karamihan sa Senado at Kongres. Mga kababayan ko, sana ingat sa boto kasi tayo din ang kawawa. Ayon din sa isang netizen, buti na lang wala si Tulfo dito. Sarap panuorin ang mga magagaling na legislator. Pero nandito si Tulfo, nako, tiyak na mabababoy na naman ang hearing. Ayon pa sa isang netizen, tama ang meaning. ng PI, Politicians Initiative. Walang kilalaman ang tao dahil binahay-bahay kami at pinapirma na wala, walang paliwanag para saan. Kaloka ang mga politiko na yan. Dagdag pa ng isang netizen, sana totoo yung sinasabi ng presidente na stop this PI. Paano si Tambaluslos? Ayaw huminto, sino ba ang presidente? At dagdag din ng isang netizen, may usapan na Subiri at BBM gusto ang ex- extension sa panunungkulan. I know, trust, I me. Go, go, Kamarkuleta. You are in the right path. ever say for the record did i ever say i'm no longer pursuing this please cite the record that i said i will no longer pursue this well it's in the yes in the privileged speech i i heard oh, by no. one of you no 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 i'd like to correct now... a misconception of my dear friend congressman marcoleta uh we are just fighting this pi first because this pi this put this uh, fake people's initiative is going to undermine the processes of uh, voting uh, no, no one is forcing Senator. precisely precisely so uh, there should be no complaint kasi sino, nakalagay din sino, po sino, sa Google sino. he he took his oath before the office of senator 
Aquilino Pimentel. Nasa Google po. Eh, we are two autonomous bodies. Ayaw nung isa makimit sa Constituent Assembly. The so, complaint arises from the fact that you do not want to meet with us. Madam so, ang Chia. question, how can we Oh, can, can we subpoena this uh, person, Madam Chair? Mad Madam, Madam Chair? Yes, Congressman Marcoleta, please. I am happy that Senator Bato raised this question because right. this is the gist of the entire inquiry. Anthony, uh, Attorney Anthony A. Abad appears to be the proponent of this initiative. Kagaya po ng sinabi ninyo, Senator, bigyan ng katauhan ang nagpasimuno nitong Politicians Initiative. Earlier, Madam Chair, the House of Representatives, eh sila po ang nagiging parang kontrabida dito. Uh, I am not representing the House of Representatives today. I was personally invited by the beautiful chairman to appear, to appear in this committee. But, as a member, hindi po niyo may aalis sa akin na medyo magdamdam rin ako sapagkat ang patutsada ay patungkol sa House of Representatives, lalong lalo na po yung Speaker. I'm not defending the Speaker. If this congressional hearing ultimately find or found that the Speaker is the one who spearheaded this or funded this initiative, I will probably request him to step down. Pero kung hindi po siya naman, bakit hindi po natin kinonsentrate kay Anthony Abad? Siya po yung bida dito eh. Siya po ang pinakasentro nito. Siya ang nagsasabi dito na pinaliwanag niya sa tao. Nagsabi po ng mga tao, we fully understand the rationale of this proposition, we fully understand the consequences, the effects, and the advantages of this proposition. Gusto nating malaman, talaga bang ginawa niya single-handedly, although et alito, but to undertake and to mobilize an undertaking nationwide to be able to get at least 8 million votes. Kaya po ba ng isang tao? Why don't we begin with Anthony Abad? Who is he? Anthony yeah. Abad, based on uh, the Google, Madam Chair, specializes in international trade law. He has been in legal practice for 17 years, and he is at present an independent advisor of the Philippine Senate. May, may no, uh, Madam Chair? From, Nasa Google po. At kusino, nakalagay din kusino, po sa Google. Sino, sino. He, he took his oath before the office of Senator... Aquilino Pimentel. Nasa Google po. Kaya kailangan po nating makita lahat eh. Sa Google po yan. I was also shown that picture, pero hindi ko ma-date eh. Mukhang bata pa kami nun eh. So, <laughs> so must have been uh, years ago. And if you are talking about this, that, if he is also that Anthony Abad uh, named in the signature sheet, so we are assuming a lot of things. Pero, Right now, he's not uh, a consultant of my office. But, uh, so, kailapas pasiputin natin itong Anthony, Attorney Anthony A. Abad. So, Triple A. Yes. Uh, Attorney Anthony A. Abad. So, para malaman po natin. And uh, if that person uh, uh, seen in the picture taking an, an oath before me, if he will admit that he is the one, then uh, we're talking about the same person. But he's not a consultant of my office, so I don't think he's also a consultant of, of the Senate. Well, I, yes. So maybe that was really part of his biodata. Siguro once upon a time, baka nangyari yun. So, uh, and well, then, uh, since nandito na rin tayo sa topic na ito, the burden is all with uh, Attorney Anthony A. Abad because yes. no other lawyer can file that petition and claim that he is he or she is under that et al. Hindi po pwede yun. So it's only uh, if, the, if the signatures are genuine and real and then freely uh, given, it is only this attorney, Anthony A. Abad, whom they have authorized to file the petition. No person, no, no lawyer can claim to be 
et al kasi hindi siya pinangalanan. So that's my that's my theory. Kaya we really I agree with Congressman Marcoleta. We really have to identify who is. Pero ko medyo common name kasi yan. There might be more than one. Uh, Anthony A. Abad, who happens also to be a lawyer. So yes, yes, we need Senator, to look for this person. Start, we can start with him. Yes. This is an A4 sheet of paper. That's right. Ten signatories per seat. If Anthony Abad is out to get 8 million votes to satisfy the threshold of 8 million, this is the requisite of the People's Initiative, he will need 800,000 pieces of this a seat. Nakita ko po yung pinag... Nakakuha ko ng isang rim nito. This paper was imported from Indonesia. This is 70 GSM. I want to ask Anthony about... Kinuwenta ko po kung magkano eh. Siguro about 1,500 something rims. Half a million pesos, ito pala mong papel. Ipiprint mo ito, palagay mo na lang dalawang piso. 800,000 seats at 1.6 million plus 500, that's about 2 million. San niya kinuha ni Anthony? Maybe we can ask questions directly from this guy. Hindi yung mga nakatakip ang mukha. They're so brave enough not to be able to expose their, their faces in the public. I'm sorry, Mr. Senate President, but I read your, your rules of evidence. If the substantive rights of people affected in this hearing they should also be protected. How can we, for example, confront the accusers if they are all masks? Hindi po ganito. I am not defending the Speaker of the House of Representatives. I will repeat this. If this, if this investigation will find out na siya po ang nagpondo, I will politely ask him to step down. Pero alimbawa po kung ito'y ginawa ni Anthony about out of exasperation, out of frustration. Because I think for the longest time, the House of Representatives have been inviting the Senate to meet with us on a constituent assembly. And the Senate repeatedly refused us. This is on record, Madam Chair. Kahit kailan po hindi natin magagampanan, hindi natin magagamit, yung isang modality to change the Constitution, which is the Constituent Assembly. Every time an invitation is issued to the Senate by the House, ang answer po, dead ma. Dead ma. So kailan po natin gagamitin ang Constituent Assembly? We cannot. It's impossible. Sa so, sapagat sinasabi ng Senate, well, ang dami pong ano eh. Okay, bago kami maki, makipag-meet uh, sa inyo, you will have to agree that separate voting. Ganun po palagang nangyayari. Ito po ang nangyayari. Ako po matagal na sa Congress. Kung hindi ako nagkakamili, Madam Chair, panahon pa po ni si Speaker Belmonte, pinag-iisipan na natin to. Restrictive economic provisions, blah, 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 blah. But we never agree just to meet Alam po ninyo, Madam Chair, ang pinag-uusap, mag-meet lang po tayo. Tsaka na po natin pag-uusapan kung yung three ports is voting separately or not. Pero, is, Kap ma Madam, Madam Chair, Pero, yes, wala I po think tayo. Tama, tama observation ni Attorney Marcoleta, but, but that cannot be forced. If the Senate does not want to, to amend the Constitution through a constituent assembly, the House cannot force it. Ganun lang po yung as simple as that. So therefore... Uh, no, no one is forcing, Senator. Precisely, precisely. So, uh, there should be no complaint kasi we are two autonomous bodies. Ayaw nung isa makimit sa Constituent Assembly. The so, complaint arises from the fact that you do not want to meet with us. Madam so, ang Chair. question, how can we, how can, make use, how can we make use of that particular yes, modality? Oh. It is the first modality. Yes, yes. The pres that means that the present composition of uh, both houses cannot avail of that mode kasi ayaw nga no isang house makimit. So, ano na po yan? That's a political question, gamitin okay, sa Madam issue Chair, sa election. Madam Pero, Madam the, Madam uh, our problem with the PI is yun na nga. Therefore, therefore we suspected uh, some politicians to be behind the PI 
Because ang tinutumbok ng People's Initiative is the procedures sa Constituent Assembly. That's right. And changing, changing the natural meaning of that section, uh, that's uh, correct. Madam Chair. So that's, that's and, the... Uh, with all due yeah, respect yeah, flow, to uh, yes. Congressman Marcoleta, that's likely a subject of another, another hearing meeting. and Madam another Chair. meeting uh, and perhaps a uh, more... Uh, uh, confident and uh, benign meeting of the minds at another time. Ma Madam Chair, uh, right I now, I can see all my colleagues jumping out of their seats uh, to contradict <laughs> us, but let's not hijack this hearing. Let us Correct. proceed. With Chair, can, we can simplify this. Maybe we can have a stipulation. Can the Senate stipulate that of all the initiatives taken by the House to engage you as a constituent assembly, all these initiatives have been refused. Wala pa tayong, hindi pa po tayo nag-meet. Madam Chair, Madam Chair um, as Senate President, as the leader of this institution, I can categorically state that we have not refused uh, any measures. As a matter of fact, I filed uh, last week, RBH 6 which is to discuss economic uh, provisions of the Constitution. So, only, only to change your mind three days later, Mr. Uh, Senate President. Did I ever say, for the record, did I ever say I am no longer pursuing this? Please cite the record that I said I will no longer pursue this. Well, it's in the yes. in the privileged speech I, I heard oh, by no. one of you. No, no, no. I'd like to correct now... a misconception of my dear friend, Congressman Marcoleta. Uh, we are just fighting this PI first. Because this PI, this, put, this uh, fake people's initiative, is going to undermine the processes of uh, voting uh, during the discussions of constitutional change. Hindi po kami papayag na makapon ang Senado kasi mawawala po ang bicameralism that is stipulated five times in our Constitution and uh, provides for the checks and balances of our institutions. Yun lamang po. Wala po tayong pinag-aawayan kundi itong PI kasi uh, alam mo, sa totoo lang, Madam Chair, and I, we're going, we're veering away from the topic here. Yes. But uh, really quickly, kung yung point, yung people's initiative, kung linagay po nila dyan, sino bang mga proponents dyan, kung linagay ng pirma dyan to amend the, uh, for example, public services to allow 100% foreign ownership, Sa tingin ko, walang gulo eh. Pati sa amin, walang aalma. Yun ay napakasimple. That is a uh, right given by the Constitution. Pero hindi eh. It's a very simple question to vote as one, but it is very, uh, it is full of uh, 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 hidden meaning and it will open a Pandora's box that we can no longer come out from. So, yun lamang po, Madam Chair. I just want to put for the record, we have not categorically said no to amendments to the Constitution. As a matter of fact, I met with the President and he said, let's discuss the economic provisions and stop this PI. He told me this yesterday, and I'm saying this for the record again. I gave that uh, speech in, the, in Congress as a personal and collective privilege, but I'll say it again. The President said, stop this. PI, it's getting out of hand and focus on discussions on the floor on how we can improve the Constitution through uh, uh, the amendments to the economic provision. You Madam Chair. You Madam Chair, point of order. Yes, thank you very much. I Madam listened Chair intently to the distinguished Madam. chairperson when she enumerated the basis for this inquiry, which is basically PI. Well, I know this is a spirited debate that has been going on between the House and the Senate, and we have two excellent debaters here in the person of Congressman Marcoleta, um, Senator Bato, and SP um, Zubiri. This will have its proper time at another um, inquiry and yeah. um, meeting so that we can focus on the witness and also our resource numerous person. resource persons who took the time out to be with us um, this morning, with the indulgence, of course, of uh, my dear colleague and friend, Congressman Mark Lett. I, I agree, Madam Chair. So, ang tinatanong ko lang po na kung meron tayong ma-stipulate, sapagat totoo naman hindi pa tayo nag-meet as a constituent assembly. That is, that is a fact. From all the invitations we had given to the Senate, wala pa pong nangyari doon. 
Ito well po yung totoo. Pag-usapan natin. So ma maaring ngayon po mangyari na. Pero ang sinasabi ko, for the longest time, the hands were extended to you to meet with us on a constituent assembly. Yung mag-usap lang tayo. And then pag-usapan natin kung dyan, voting separately or voting jointly. But let the process to proceed. Yung mag-meet lang tayo. Eh, napakaganda na po siguro ang simula yun. Thank you. Mr. Senate President, Madam Chair. Thank, Thank you. Thank you po. Thank you, Congressman Marcoleta. Well, oh, si Atty. Abad, ah, isang lawyer naman. Oo, oh, although ito isang lawyer, pero napag-alaman na eh, Congressman Marcoleta na ito pala'y isang consultant ni Pimentel. <laughs> isang consultant. So, anong mangyayari, di ba? So, sabi ni ano, kong, uh, Congressman Marcoleta, he himself, pag napatunayan na ang behind sa politician Uh, initiative nitong PI ni Tambaluslos kung siya mismo ang behind on these things na nagkagulo-gulo ng ating bansa ng kanyang PI na yan kung yan ay mapapatunayan na si Tambaluslos behind these things ay siya mismo si Congressman Marcolita ang magpapa-resign ng kanyang speaker He himself appears in the Senate inquiry not just by appearing in behalf of the Congress but he was Uh, invited by the Honorable Chairman uh, Senator Amy Marcos on the Constitutional uh, Amendments. Now, ang sabi ni Marcolita, uh, tingnan natin kung ano bang sanhi, sino ba ang uh, ano nito, uh, gumagawa nitong mga inisyatibong ito. Kasi Ang kongreso daw, wala daw silang kanalaman, lalo ang lalo na kahit ang baluslos. Pero ngayon, based dito sa mga uh, resource person na, na, na course examine ng mga senador, posible talagang si Tambaluslos ang behind nito. And hindi lang si Tambaluslos yung pinaka-mastermind nito, kundi syempre naman si PBBM. Bakit? Gusto lang nila talaga ma-extend ang kanilang termino para... Uh, matagal sila sa kanyang pwesto at kung matagal sila sa kanilang pwesto yayariin nila ang ating taong bayan yayariin nila lahat para lang makapag uh, nakaw ng pera ang layo na nang narating ng ibang bansa tayo'y tinitingala dati dati pa nga uh, ang mga rice producer uh, producer country is mismo ang Pilipinas dito pa sa Pilipinas nag-aaral ito nag nag-aral. Pero ngayon, sila na ngayon, tayo na ngayon nag-import. ba? Diba? Tayo na ngayon nag-import at uh, by way of that, importing that so-called agricultural product, pinatay ang ating mga farmers. Ganyan ka tambaluslos talaga ang ating bansa. ba? Diba? Tayo ay magano Sa next na election next year, sana naman tingnan ninyo, wag kayo, tanggapin ninyo yung ano yung pera na binigay pero isipin natin ang kapakanan ng ating bayan. Isipin ninyo, huwag tayong mag-ano, kung binigyan ka ng 1,000, yung 1,000 yan, simple seconds, minutes, or hour, ubus yan. Pero yung uh, pagnanakaw nila sa ating bayan, millions of pesos ang uh, ninakaw nila, kinuha nila sa atin. Dahil saan ka makakita? 100 million yung uh, kanilang magagasta or magagastos sa pagtakbo bilang senador, congressman, or even president. Pero yung Uh, sahot nila ay hindi umabot sa ganyang uh, ano sa ganyang mga uh, amount so anong mangyayari siyempre uh, babawiin nila yan sa kanilang pagnanakaw di ba sino bang tarantado na politiko gagastos ng 100 million samantala yung uh, buong 6 years na term nila ay hindi umaabot ng 10 million yung sahot nila sino bang sino bang loko-loko na tumatakbo pag gano'n, di ba? Napaka-logical na pamama, uh, ano, uh, isipin na gago ba na tumatakbo ka, nag, nagsayang kang 100 million pero yung sahur na papunta sa'yo is just maybe 10 million, di ba? Napaka-malaking kalukuhan kaya mag-ano mag, na tayo guys, uh, mapagmatsyag na tayo at pumili tayo sa mga taong ano, di ba? Uh, Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood mga kabayan. Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na ito, huwag kakalimutang mag-like at mag-subscribe sa aking channel para sa iba pang mga kapanapanabik na nilalaman hanggang sa susunod na video. 
Ingat kayo at mabuhay!